بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم so probably if you are looking for some kind of rack rentals then the ine.com is one of the option where you can go with so you just need to log in with your account you can use any of your gmail accounts to create an account if you don't have then probably you can uh, go and uh, get back to the rack rentals and from there you can go to the rack rentals and you can start uh, renting the racks now again depends upon uh, depends upon the token so generally you need to buy some tokens uh, probably these tokens uh, you need to check the pricing but roughly it will be like 100 tokens uh, will be approximately like 100 dollars somewhere around unless if they are running some kind of discounts where if you buy more tokens then probably it will be a little bit different pricing so depending upon that you can get some tokens this is something a prerequisite you need to purchase and here you can see uh, some some kind of tokens you can just click on uh, normally you'll see zero uh, in case if you are logging in for the first time so you can click on that and you can buy some kind of tokens so somewhere around you can see the price uh, depending upon the number of uh, tokens you buy probably the pricing will be different so once you get them then probably uh, once you do that then you will your tokens will be shown on the left side now this is one of the rack option which i use whenever I, I, I want to do some labs, which might not be possible sometimes on the virtual setup. So here you can see, I already have a schedule, uh, this thing. So just we have a schedule for two hours, probably from 8.30 a.m. That is from 10 minutes from now. And then from here, if you want to access, again, we'll see this uh, rag, rag, rental login details once the rack starts, the options. Now, depending upon which rack you want, uh, based on that, the number of tokens you need you need to have it probably will will vary. So again, if you're going for data center tokens, probably data center or CCNA NP level routing switching, you can do that in the GNS3. So most of the routing switching kind of stuff you can directly do it on the virtual setup. But let's say if you want to do some kind of full scale labs based on INE or service border, you can. Uh, do the rack rentals according to that and based on the to, based on the rack what you are trying to access you have a rack rental guide like let's say here i'm getting into cci security rack rental guide so there's a url and here you can find the details now basically these details includes uh, the rack overview like uh, what is exactly the rack and how many uh, physical devices it has and what are the virtual devices it offers. So if you're going for security track, you may want to simulate some labs based on uh, the Cisco I, Cisco ESA, FMC, FTD, and then next generation IPS, WSA. Probably these options, uh, these devices will be available. So you'll have these devices. And these are the uh, typical devices uh, what are available in the CCI security rack. So similar way you can, uh, these devices will vary in different tracks again. Now similar way, if you want to get into the specifications of the rack, like what are the devices available? Like the routers, switches, ASAs. Now this ASA, ASAs, these are the physical devices. So now there are some few labs which may not work on the virtual devices. Like uh, when you uh, talk about ASA clustering, you cannot do that on the virtual device. So probably here, you have those physical devices used. So these are physical devices offered. And then uh, likewise, the connections, uh, which port goes to which device, probably the connectivity information. Uh, and, and also you will have some kind of uh, servers, server software, which includes like Active Directory or uh, if you want to use some CA services. So FTP, Telnet, these are the additional uh, services which will be available on the on the software here. 